hello guys welcome to my channel today uh, we will see how to use the uh, ecopony software for objectivist image uh, classification so here i have opened my ecognition software so first you have to create a new workspace or new project so go to this uh, tab in the press this create new uh, project so here this window appear here so first you are going to import your image so as you know for uh, objectivist image classification we need uh, to have a relatively uh, very high satellite or aerial image so here i have my aerial photo or real image of my area so go to your file and add uh, your data or uh, image so here uh, optionally you can add your thematic layer or uh, classified thematic image or uh, thematic layer so this is uh, my image and i'm going to classify this image using object oriented image classification method so as you can see we have a very high aerial image here and these are uh, white roof buildings or the new one and you have also the three parts and the there is a road and i have also this uh, red roof or all the roof buildings and uh, these are grasslands and uh, these parts are uh, road part so we are going to classify this uh, aerial image using multi-resolution um, segmentation method in this uh, ecognition so once we have added your image go to this process and uh, click this process tree so in here uh, right click on this uh, window and then select this append new so here first we are going to segment this image into objects before classification we have to group this uh, image or these pixels into uh, objects or image objects so you can rename it as uh, segmentation the name of uh, this process then after we are going to fill the algorithm or uh, the segmentation type so we have uh, many or different kinds of segmentation here and uh, for this tutorial i'm going to use this uh, multi-resolution segmentation so as you can see here there are some parameters that you have to specify to segment the image first we need to uh, remove the existing if there is existing segmentation and then we can select uh, number of or the uh, segmentation settings for the image layer weights you can specify uh, values for each bands i have rgb or the three bands only for this image and i'm giving equal weight for all uh, bands then uh, here you have to uh, fix the scale parameter so since it is very high uh, error image I'm going to use uh, 70 uh, scale parameter for this image so it depends upon your uh, quality of the image or the the resolution of or spatial resolution of the image and for the shape and the compactness I'm going to use this uh, default value so, so based on your uh, uh, spatial resolution of your image you have to specify or fix these uh, parameters because this uh, parameter plays a vital role in the uh, final output of image classification so i am going to use uh, 70 for the scale parameter and uh, 0 0.1 in the compactness 0 0.5 value so once we have fixed this parameter we are going to uh, execute this <coughs> par process so as you can see it is completed within three seconds the image is uh, segmented using multi-resolution segmentation so you can edit it if you are not good with the image segmentation you can edit this process by using different parameters for scale parameter compactness and the shape value 
so for uh, this tutorial i'm going to use this uh, segmentation result then next we are going to create a class or define classes so go to this classification and select class hierarchy and uh, these are uh, where we can uh, create the class values for each class so right click on this class hierarchy tab and then click this insert class so first we have uh, trees and you can give the color for each uh, class in the first here we have to select this new class and then click ok similarly you have to create the total class you have or that you are going to classify the image so i have also roads all roads So once you have created or uh, created uh, uh, classes, you are going to take sample for each class. As you can see here, I have around five classes. So select the class and uh, go to this classification and uh, select this sample. Then after uh, select samples. So here we are going to select for grass select our activities uh, grass class and go back to your segmented image and select the pixels that represent the classes here i'm going to use this part so select and hold your shift from your keyboard Similarly for the next class, just select the class and go to the segmented image and select the sample for the red roof I am going to use or select these classes and hold your shift key and So here I have selected samples for each class. Then next we are going to edit the standard nearest neighborhood, uh, neighborhood uh, feature for this uh, classification. So uh, go to this uh, classification tab. Then uh, from this nearest neighborhood select this edit the standard uh, nearest neighborhood feature space. So go to this object or object feature from this select this layer value 
and uh, use this mean value for this standard uh, nearest neighborhood uh, feature space then uh, click ok then we have to apply this uh, nearest neighborhood uh, feature space so select this nearest neighborhood and uh, select this apply uh, standard in in so here select all uh, classes and then click ok then next we are going to classify this segmented image using these uh, samples so click right click on this process tree and uh, I'll select this append new next you can rename it as classification then for the algorithm use uh, I'm going to use this classification algorithm from the basic classification tab again we can select the active class for this one we are going to select all the uh, five classes we can raise the existing uh, classification if it is a classification so the image uh, domain will be the image object level which is the segment image so next we are going to classify uh, this image or the segment image yeah the process is already completed your image is already here classified and you can check uh, by using this tab So this is a final classified image. We can export this image to uh, ArcGIS or ArcMap. So once you have completed the image classification, you can export the classified image. So select this export tab, then export results. So here we have two uh, windows for the first for the classes select this classes and uh, select all the class again again for the feature select this uh, select feature and from the select features we are going to select the relation to the classification you can open any uh, GIS software and uh, you can uh, do the further analysis on the classified image so this is my classified image you can uh, categorize the property of the image using the classifier class uh, names This is our final uh, classified image. We have the five class grasses, uh, red roof buildings, roads, and uh, trees, white roof class uh, or right, white roof buildings like this. So, uh, this is all about my today's tutorial. So, make classification using object based classification in eco generation software. So, thank you for your time. Uh, next, use the uh, next tutorial. And thank you.